I'd like to welcome you back. Again, my name is Kevin Stora, and in this episode, I will share a writing of mine that I undertook in Kuwait. It was written about uh, 2006 or 2005, in which I share about my problems with attention deficit, but also my joy, uh, the, the skills that um, I've been able to achieve such as language learning and Arabic, Spanish, Japanese, um, even French over the years. And I, I, I would like to read that for you now. The writing is called Day in the Life of ADHD. As I swim the laps at the swimming pool complex off of Gulf Road, north of Salmia here in Kuwait, I often count the number of laps I swim in Arabic. Arba'a, Hamsa, Sita. Counting like this keeps me focused and helps me remember I live in an Arab land. Even as I do a backstroke and try to make myself healthier, sometimes I also count in Spanish. Siete, ocho, nueve, or German, French, or even Japanese. Hachi, Q, Ju. I also take time to pray. I pray for a list of family uh, back in the States or friends and business acquaintances here in Kuwait. A spiritual backbone often keeps me focused in this way. Ashura, Adash. Although ADHD is not defined as a learning disability, its presence is manifested by the way it handicaps academic achievement and it disturbs social interactions. Therefore, it is really a miracle for me that over the years, as an adult, I've been able to acquire foreign language skills while living in countries like France, Germany, or in Latin America, Japan, and the Middle East. A dash, it nash, taletash. Earlier in the day, namely at lunch today, I had been at the Alkut Mall in Pahahil. There I had just picked up my new uh, bifocals in town and spent the time enjoying the view of the sea there. Some distant dows, that's a type of ship in the Gulf, several fountains in the tower at the mall while I consumed a Thai dish, a Thai meal from a food court there. At my table on my left side, there was an article by the Cleaning House for Adults with ADHD. The Clearing House, excuse me, uh, stands uh, for promoting information with, with and for people with ADHD around the world. And ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, which is probably a misnomer. Uh, you can actually hyperfocus. Uh, uh, getting distracted or hyperfocuses uh, are connected in many ways. The third article nearby me, as I sat eating my Thai meal, also sounds mundane and explains how to manage one's life by properly and regularly keeping a daily planner. Again, this is for someone with ADHD. Sabatash, Samanstash, Tishtash. Another article which I had already read was beside the others and was laying opposite of my Thai noodles, uh, Pad Thai probably. The article was on how one goes about diagnosing ADHD. I myself had been diagnosed with ADHD by a specialist at Texas A&M University about five years earlier. Um, this had been undertaken through rigorous testing and visiting more than one specialist and doing a variety of tests over a year's time. Uh, this third article uh, was on how adults with ADHD can organize their room, space, and offices more effectively. Ashrim, Wahid Ashrim, Itna Ashrim. One out of every 10 people in the United States, my home country, has a form of attention deficit. It is hypothesized that America may have more than its share of ADHD uh, adults and children because as an immigrant country, it was settled by people who fit the description of ADHD adults. They were go-getters like Sir Richard Branson, the guy with ADHD who had founded Virginia, Virgin Airlines and Virgin Record Stores and even sent uh, rockets into space. Arba Ashrim, 
Khamsa Ashrin. If one browses through the clinical book on ADHD, one reads about these ADHDers who demonstrate hyperactivity. Yes. Often they are the ones who go or they act as if they're driven by a motor. In addition, B, they often run about or move up and down excessively in certain situations. Saba Ashrin, Tamanta Ashrin, ADHDers are uh, often having difficulty, that's D, and E, often interrupting or intruding on others. I myself recall being told many times not to talk over other people and being told to wait my turn. Talatin. Wahid Talatin. One time back in Germany, two decades ago, I, uh, I noticed I, as I placed coins in the old public telephone, that as every few seconds passed, the phone made a beep demanding more coins. <sighs> this caused me a lot of stress. Calling family back in the USA at that time in the late 1980s and early 90s required a lot of coins. Now, years later, I realized that the ancient payphone in Germany that I used to have or experience in my dormitory was, is a great metaphor for someone and how someone has ADHD and how their brain functions. Talatin, Arba Talatin. Putting that money into a payphone is a great matter for how I feel when I am put on hold on the telephone or I have to wait for someone to come on the phone, or I must listen to a long-winded and sometimes an unimportant message to me on the phone, or just in real life when I meet people who are off topic or don't seem to be getting to the point. Uh, that is, I hear a beep, and every few seconds, the beep at the back of my neck, right here probably where the amygdala is, uh, the beep tells me that I need to be putting in more coins, and as I do this and seconds go by, it asks me again to do the same thing, repeating the story over and over again, beep, beep, put in more coins. There's a countdown in my head, five coins, four coins, three coins, two coins, one coin. Soon I will explode if I don't hang up the phone and get up and walk around the room or move about, uh, looks like I'm in the center, and I get a chance to relax through that or unwind. This need to stretch my muscles is helping uh, me, um, especially as I swim. The swimming helps me as I think through things that have, that have happened through the day and I plan. The counting helps me uh, relax this and control the numbers in my head. I don't have to march on, I, I count at the pace I'm swimming. Hamsa Talati. Certainly, one reason I write emails and sometimes impulsively send emails has to do with the therapeutic value typing a message gives to me. That is, instead of hearing a payphone at the back of my brain going beep as I simply bite my tongue, I often interrupt, interrupt the other speaker. It is particularly hard to listen to others making unwieldy speeches or repeat points that seem clear already over and over again. Sitta talatin, saba talatin. As I puff, puff, and swim, gliding across the water, I recall other symptoms of ADHD of which I am guilty. These uh, symptoms uh, include uh, losing things, often failing to pay close attention to details, often not seeming to listen when being spoken to, this last symptom is certainly true in my case because those with ADHD often have trouble reading or interpreting nonverbal communication very well. That is, without someone explaining what the unspoken message is, or maybe I may not interpret it at all, at least not at that moment. As my brain works on it later, like when I'm swimming, I might be able to understand what they were trying to get to. Therefore, I get impatient and imagine a payphone sound again Beep, beep, putting in more coins, beginning to beep at the amygdala or back of the brain. Fisatalatin, uh, arba'in. Naturally, some other very important ADHD symptoms are these ever-present ones. ADHDers often have difficulty sustaining attention. They are often forgetting important things, and they are often appearing to avoid and disliking organized tasks and activity. Talata Arbain. Luckily, I have learned to break complex 
task down into small parts like I'm doing in the presentation of the program about myself so that I can take on difficult and complicated chores in order to make most of my many deadlines. Arba Arbaim, Tissa Arbaim. Oops, I got carried away. I swam a hundred extra meters. <laughs> now I have to get out of the pool, go home and type something for my teacher blog or my, uh, this time I'm using the wordpress.com ESL Kevin blog. I wonder what I should write about. Be do you hear? I do. Have a good day. I hope you stay with our channel and learn more about me. And I'll share you uh, some more of the literature I've been writing over the years while I travel and work in different countries. Thank you.